Hey y'all, welcome to That Guy's One Channel on YouTube. You can call me Guy. And as always, remember to hit that subscribe button in that corner of the screen. And hit the thumbs up button, letting YouTube know you like the video that you're watching. Today's video is going to be making two sets of hooks out of horseshoes. Now this is a project my parents asked for me to do for them. And as always, as good as they've been to me, I'm going to be good to them, right? So I'm going to do what they ask. What they want is to make two sets of hooks to go up to hang tack, bridle, whatever it goes on the horse. It's just, it's basically just a hook for anything that they want to hang on it out of the horse pasture. So one hook goes up right, the other hook's going to go right there on the front of it, and it's going to look like that. So, that's all we're doing. Quick, easy, and simple. Unfortunately, they were using these for art and painted them with that Rust-Oleum rustic paint. And so it's going to be a, bit, a little bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to have to clean down here at the bottom and on the side where I plan on welding these at. But all in all, it's not too much prep for what we're planning to do here. And like I said, it's probably going to be a short video. But hey, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, tune in and carry on. So we're going to move on and uh, get these things clean. What you may find on most of my videos is the favorite thing on the grinder is going to be the cut wheel. You can grind and cut, so it's multi-purpose, and that's basically what I like to keep up there. And for the first part, it worked fine, but having to do these little skinny edges just wasn't cutting. It was going to take forever, so I switched over to the flat disc, and we're going to use that real quick. Just like that, quick and easy. Did exactly what I wanted to. That flat wheel is so much better. Typically when I use a flat wheel, I like to use a mask. That sandpaper, uh, little particles get everywhere. But for that quick little process, I didn't really see the need doing it. Now we got the shoes cleaned up. I'm gonna leather up real quick and cut the welder on and we'll tack these babies up. All right, I'm all leathered up, ready to weld. I don't know how you YouTubers in Instagrammers and Facebookers and all the famous welder people who weld without sleeves on. Kudos to you, arms of steel. I can't do it. I've got enough scars on my arms from welding and I'm just not willing to do it anymore. So just about everything you see me in, I'm gonna be leathered up. It's just how it is. We're ready to go, ready to weld. I'm gonna cut this on with this new camera and the speaker system. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me really well. so. I got it turned off right now so I can talk to you, and I'm going to cut it on, and I'm going to try to talk. You may or may not hear me. I don't know, but we're going to get this welded up, so enjoy. All right, so not really a need for any kind of vice or anything to really hold these up. i uh, just going to kind of hold it together with my hands, I think, and see how that goes. We're going to lay this one flat since we're welding on top of it, and we're just going to hold this one up here as such. and. See how it turns out. I'm going to tack one side and then check for levelness to see if I like it. I'll go to the other side, tack, and then we'll weld it out. So I had a little issue with the first one. Uh, a job a while back I had with a buddy. We went over the welding machine. I explained to him how to set it up and things not to do. And it completely threw me off. When I came back, my knobs were reversed for my amperage versus my voltage. And so I had a little bit of trouble on the first one. I finally realized I had the knobs backwards, fixed it. We're gonna work on the second one, make that one look a little bit better, all right? So do notice that it's pulled a little bit to the left or back toward the camera. I'm going to back it over. A couple of easy hits. Just like that. It's just how I want it. Well, the other side because it's tied to the table. I can't really move it right now. So 
you get to see me well from the opposite side. That turned out really good. Nice little slick wheel right there. I'm gonna come back on this side and weld over this tack and I'll get you a close up in just a minute of what it looks like. All right, they're both welded and I've learned this the hard way many, many times. If you're gonna move something, remember to have your gloves on because it's still hot and right after you get done welding. I think it turned out pretty good, but you get the general idea. This is bolted onto the wall and this creates a nice little hook. Same idea with this one. That's all my parents wanted, a nice little uh, place to hang up the tack at the barn when they get done unsaddling the horses. So you saw in the video, we had a little bit of an issue with the ground because the horseshoes were painted with that rustic paint. It was really almost impossible to get a good arc going. So what I ended up doing was ground clamp to the table, also on the horseshoe, which also didn't work. So what I ended up doing was taking a little weld and welding from the table to the clean part of the metal on the shoe. Right after that, it arced right up and had a nice slick weld. I'll bring it up there too. You can take a real close look at this and uh, see what you think. Always burn it in hot, makes it look nice and slick if you're gonna use it for an artistic look to it. All right, so I'm really excited to use this camera like this. Man, this is crazy having this big screen to actually see what I'm pointing at, and this works really great. And as I talked about in another video, talking about the flow of how setting this thing up and getting the welding done and this whole point and shoot thing makes it really, really easy when I can just do this and see what I'm actually pointing at. And that little clip right there of the zoom in, this thing has a huge one inch sensor in it. A huge one inch sensor in it. So, it, I mean, the image quality is extremely great. And in a low light scenario, like what we have here in the shop, I mean, it just, it works really, really good. So I'm enjoying this camera. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little project. Got to get my depth perception here. I'm reaching over top of it through the camera. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want, leave me a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you'd like to see built out of horseshoes because I'm, I'm getting ideas, but it, you may be able to come up with one I hadn't thought of yet. I know all the common ones all over Etsy or Pinterest or whatever it is. You know, my girlfriend's constantly, you know, pointing out stuff she wants made. So if you can think up of uh, something made of horseshoes, put it down in the comments and I'll be sure to read it and we might see if we can't build it. I might even call you out on it and tag you in the video, whatnot. So remember, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Leave that comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.